Okay, so I've had a sort of organising all the stuff that's leaving our home. And this is hopefully going all today. Um, do excuse when I sort of flick round the stuff under the table. That's all the crockery and everything. Still waiting to go to the tip. But I want to get rid of this stuff. A lot of this was um, on the floor in the dining room and in that laundry basket. So we've got socks and underwear here. Um... There's some stuff that will actually go to the bins at the tip, material bins and everything, clothing, and they recycle it anyway. Um, the decent stuff will go to the charity shop. So, I so say, got a pile of underwear and socks here. This little stretch here, you might recognise it, it was a while ago, is stuff that was mine. And I've pulled this all out, so there's a few items there. Um pyjama set that um, Daniel's getting rid of so that's going and this sort of pile has been in my laundry bin in the dining room for um, a couple of months now and this was all the stuff that hubby had in the hospital so we've got dressing gown we've got lounge set and um, pyjamas and a couple of t-shirts so that was a no-brainer um, that straight went in the laundry bin to get rid of obviously um, a while ago now so that's just gonna go um, I've got two DVDs that we watched a while ago um, they actually going back to the same charity shop there is a couple of glasses they've got chips in and that bowl I was a little bit upset I might have to have a look and see if BM got any more of these because i um, got a big chip out of it they were discs that when you could copy stuff off um, the TV and everything and record. Yeah, I've put these. Um, this is what I mean. I might have to get a larger one. This is the cotton one, Reed Diffuser. I've realised it's got two. It's been that long since um, I checked what was in the bin. I've got some pens and some little stamp things that dried up that don't work. That little plaque I had in the kitchen when I was decluttering, that doesn't work. Um, that's a toast that needs to be replaced that actually is for boiled eggs I've had that about six or seven years and not been used so I'm finally letting it go um, soft toilet seat for a granddaughter because the toilet seats were put in a couple of years ago for um, our granddaughter and as you know they've got the smaller um, sort of seat and the normal seat if that makes sense. carry a bag there that's just in case i need to put anything in and that folder which is actually from years ago um when hubby was made redundant from his first job that he'd been there since he'd left school um that was a lift company and it's like um cvs and everything but i think it's pretty much out of date now so i'm just gonna let that go so and I've still got all the boxes under the um, chest, but I really want to get rid of this lot first if I can. That's not all. Then I've got the stuff on the table that's going to people. Now, this is the problem. I don't know if anybody else um, does this. I try and say once it's gone in the shed or in that basket, it doesn't come back in. But I've pulled this out. <laughs> um because I was going through the CDs as well, because I um, realised when we was in the Persia, which was the car we purchased um, just before hubby um, was sick, um, we realised I haven't got any CDs or anything, because um, we've got all the music in um, the Kia, because we use that for towing and travelling, but we had nothing. And once the radio had sort of got out of a while out of town we couldn't pick up the signal it just wasn't working so we didn't know about getting radio channels and everything um decent ones so um i ended up playing music off my um phone and then of course that went flat so um so the steps i'm keeping that because i like steps i'm putting that one in the persia this is what i mean by when things leave you know sort of end up staying um, I try not to do this, but that is one item that I'm putting in the Persia, so that is not actually going. So this is a pair of pyjamas that um, our 
Daniel has had for quite some time. As you can see, it's still got the ticket on. They're going to um, his brother because they're not been worn and they're Christmas um, sponge um, bob. He says they're, uh, um, because they're elastic, it's a little bit tight. There's that, as you know, if you're trying to lose weight or you've put on weight or your weight just changes, let's put it that way. There is a certain amount you can keep, but as I said, he's had this year's and not um, worn them. Um, got pants here that are brand new. They are going to a family member. And I've pulled this out I, um, because sometimes you get items um, that just sit there if you know what i mean even decor items that's why i keep reviewing and i felt it wasn't really doing a purpose so that's going to our granddaughter um family you know and son and daughter-in-law so if they want it they said they will look at anything and then um if they don't want it they'll take it to the charity shop i've got a couple that's like a vest top that's going to family members these have got tags on never been used and these are a lot of um socks and everything um that when i was doing the sock business um and changing the round between hubby's and my son and mine um a lot of those are new as you can see there was two lots with days of the week and i'm going to see if um my eldest son wants them because he really is having to um you know replenish his um wardrobe he's had a few bits that may come up in this one that i've taken pictures of um like new trainers and everything he's already took those a while back then when i was sorting out bits of paper and crafting and everything there's nothing wrong with this i thought i'd send that um um to my daughter-in-laws because it might do either for her or a granddaughter you know if she wants to stick her artwork and everything in it and it's pink so that's going then i've got um over here just trying to t you know sort of tiptoe over, over everything i've got shorts lounge set t-shirts and pajamas that were the newer ones um that belong to obviously um christopher my husband so they are going to a family member and see if they want them some people might argue that hang on a minute it's not their thing to pass on things but i don't like to be wasteful and um the agreement is that family members will try these items on if they actually leave our house then if they don't want them, then they take them to the charity shop so they don't actually come back in. That's the agreement. And actually, family members have been really good that way um, due to the fact that I don't want it all coming back. But all this was hubby's, so um, that's all going. I've got a T-shirt that I might be passing on. Um, this has actually got the tag on. This was Tesco's. It used to be £8.50, then £5, then down to £3.50. Um, I'm letting that go. It's stretching material, but I actually had thought about um, using it. You know, you get these polystyrene pumpkins. Um, I had thought about using it like that, but I think I'm just going to let it go, you know, and cover it because it's still got a tag on. That may just go to the charity shop. Um, so, um, yeah, I've got quite a few things and, and I've got this pyjama top here. Um, I'm not sure. I think that's just going to go, actually. So, um, that probably could go in that pile. Because that was her best. There's certain things I don't mind letting go. But, you see, I restocked um, my husband um, quite some time ago anyway. So, some things still had tickets on, as you do. I don't know if yourselves or your partner's the same. You tend to wear the same thing. What is it? You wear... 20% of your clothing, 80% of the time. Have I got that right? I'll have to think about that one, but it is the same. And you tend to grab the same items. Well, um, hubby was the same, actually, until, you know, it got a bit threadbare or anything. But I've got to go through his work clothes, which will probably be the next thing. But they'll probably all go to the tip, to the recycle bit for um, clothing um so yeah so quite a bit that's going but i need to get this lot 
um, gone hopefully today and I don't know about the crockery yet um, I keep saying that's going to go um, it was supposed to have gone the weekend before it went away and it never happened because we're out and about so yeah I'm going to get all this packed up and um, try and get rid of this so hopefully you've enjoyed this video thanks for watching goodbye <laughs>